Welcome to another exciting quiz on clinical pharmacology. Today, we'll test your knowledge on the respiratory system. Listen to question, pause the video, select correct answer, then check it. Question 1. Which of the following is a short-acting beta, 2 agonist used for acute asthma relief? Correct answer is albuterol, salbutamol. Albuterol is a short-acting beta, 2 agonist that quickly relaxes airway muscles, making it the first-line treatment for acute asthma attacks. Let's see other options. Salmeterol and formoterol are long-acting beta, two agonists, not used for acute relief. Tiotropium is a long-acting muscarinic antagonist, mainly used for COPD. Question 2. What is the mechanism of action of inhaled corticosteroids in asthma treatment? Correct answer is B. Reduction of airway inflammation by inhibiting cytokine release. Inhaled corticosteroids, like budesonide and fluticasone, work by suppressing inflammation in the lungs, reducing asthma symptoms, and preventing exacerbations. Let's see other options. Beta-2 agonists, like albuterol, cause bronchodilation, but that's not how corticosteroids work. Muscarinic antagonists, like tiotropium, block acetylcholine, not inflammation. Leukotriene inhibitors, like Montelicast, work differently, mainly used in allergic asthma. Question 3. Which class of drugs is commonly used for long-term control of COPD symptoms? Correct answer B. Long-acting muscarinic antagonists. Long-acting muscarinic antagonists, like tiotropium, block muscarinic receptors, reducing bronchoconstriction and improving airflow in COPD. Let's see other options. Leukotriene receptor antagonists are more effective for asthma, not COPD. Systemic corticosteroids are used in severe exacerbations, not long-term management. Mast cell stabilizers are used for allergic conditions, not COPD. Question 4. Montelicast is primarily used to treat? Correct answer is C. Allergic asthma and exercise-induced bronchospasm. Montelicast is a leukotriene receptor antagonist that reduces airway inflammation in allergic asthma and exercise-induced bronchospasm. Let's see other options. Acute bronchospasm requires a short-acting beta-2 agonist like albuterol. Chronic bronchitis is usually managed with bronchodilators. Pulmonary hypertension is treated with sildenafil or prostacycline analogs. Question 5. What is the primary adverse effect of beta? two agonists like salbutamol. Correct answer is B, tremors and tachycardia. Beta-2 agonists can cause tremors and tachycardia due to beta-2 stimulation in muscles and some beta-1 activation in the heart. Let's see other options. Bradycardia, beta-2 agonists increase heart rate, not decrease it. Sedation, they do not cause sedation. Hypoglycemia, beta-2 agonists may increase blood glucose, not lower it. Question 6. A 65-year-old patient with COPD is prescribed tiotropium. What is its mechanism of action? Correct answer is C, blockade of muscarinic receptors leading to bronchodilation. Tiotropium is a llama that inhibits muscarinic receptors, M3, reducing bronchoconstriction and improving airflow in COPD. Let's see other choices. Beta, 2 receptor agonism. This describes drugs like albuterol or salmeterol. Inhibition of phosphodiesterase. 4. This is the mechanism of roflumilast. Suppression of histamine release. This is how antihistamines work, not tiotropium. Question 7. Which of the following drugs is a phosphodiesterase 4, PDE4, inhibitor used in severe COPD? Correct answer is A. Roflumilast. Roflumilast inhibits PDE4, reducing inflammation in severe COPD. Let's see other choices. Theophylline. It inhibits PDE nonspecifically and has more side effects. Omalizumab. An anti-IgE monoclonal antibody used in asthma, not COPD. Xilitin. A5 lipoxygenase inhibitor used in asthma. Question 8. Which monoclonal antibody is used in severe asthma with high EGA levels? Correct answer is B. Omalizumab. Omalizumab is an anti-IgE monoclonal antibody used in severe allergic asthma. Let's see other choices. Dupliumab targets IgG for atopic dermatitis and eosinophilic asthma. Mepolizumab targets IL-5 for eosinophilic asthma. Reslizumab, also an anti-IL-5 
5 drug for eosinophilic asthma. Question 9. Which drug is contraindicated in an acute asthma attack? Correct answer. B. Salmeterol. Salmeterol is a long-acting beta-2 agonist with a slow onset and is not suitable for acute relief. Let's see other choices. Ipratropium can be used in acute exacerbations, though less effective than short-acting beta-2 agonist. Albuterol, a short-acting beta-2 agonist used for acute attacks. Prednisolone, systemic corticosteroids help in acute attacks, but they take time to work. Questions 10. A patient taking theophylline experiences nausea, tachycardia, and restlessness. What is the most likely cause? Correct answer is B, theophylline toxicity. Theophylline has a narrow therapeutic index, and high levels can cause CNS and cardiovascular toxicity, leading to nausea, tremors, and arrhythmias. Let's see other choices. Hypersensitivity reaction would present with rash, not tachycardia. Drug-induced bronchospasm. Theophylline is a bronchodilator. Secondary bacterial infection. Unrelated to these symptoms. That's it for today's respiratory system quiz. How many did you get right? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more clinical pharmacology quizzes. See you in the next one.